It's an extraordinary place you don't get to see very often, where children from newborn babies to teenagers face sometimes grueling surgeries. Well, tonight, Health Watch reporter Beth Galvin takes us inside the operating room of Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Scottish Rite. Beth joins us now with her special report. Beth? And Russ and Amanda, none of us likes going to the hospital or having surgery. But the three kids that you're about to meet have lived with pain for a long time. So they may have been scared, but they were ready as our cameras followed them right into the operating room. It's still dark out. This one, um, room five is pretty busy. There are two people here. But the long day has already begun inside the OR at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Scottish Rite. Let's have compassion taking care of our children today. Over the next few hours, 40 kids will undergo surgery here. Here we go, sweetie. Some yeah. so small they have to be carried into the OR. All right, here we go, big guy. We're gonna Others take their stuffed animal with them. <gasps> Fred Cedra Tolbert has dressed up in her favorite high school musical outfit for the biggest operation of her life. Hopefully this will be the last one for a while. The Noonan sixth grader has cerebral palsy. Her cerebral palsy affects her motor skills and her muscular skills, but her brain works fine. But Fred's spine is so badly curved she can no longer sit up straight. All right, you ready? Okay, you know what we're doing? That is why children's orthopedic surgeon Dr. Michael Schmitz will use metal rods and wire to try to fuse Fred's spine at a normal angle. It's a big surgery, and with big surgery are potentially big complications. Well, I love you. I'll see you in a little while. It won't be long. Sugar. Fred has been through this drill a half dozen times. Andy and Dr. Johnson were on our way to OR 12. And she's frustrated. <laughs> she said, I am angry, I am tired, and then she put in her computer, I want to go home. The last time, Maddie, that you had something to eat, Last night at nine. Down the hall, Maddie Saucedy isn't nervous at all. I'm really excited, actually, to get it taken out. And the Gainesville 17-year-old feels like her life has been hijacked by gallbladder pain. It's affected the way that she eats. It's affected her going to school. It's kept her from participating in certain activities that she wants to do. Maddie's surgeon, Dr. Julie Glasson, says most kids would do anything to get out of an operation like this. She asked me, you know, can you do the surgery tomorrow? Because I just, I want to get my life back. And if all goes well in the OR, Maddie may soon be pain-free. That is exactly what Thomas Lewis is hoping for. Are you a little nervous? Or? A little. For two years, the Lilburn 12-year-old's legs have hurt so badly at night, he can't sleep. Doctors first thought it was just growing pains. Kids never uh, can hide their, their true feelings or, or uh, issues. So when a kid tells you he's in pain or having uh, weakness or any, any problems, then you know, it, it, it's uh, real. And, and it was. His surgeon, Dr. Barun Brahma, says he's got something called a tethered spinal cord. A tethered cord is a situation where the actual spinal cord is stuck for some reason. More than anything, we're just quiet to know what it is and to you know, be here to get it taken care of. But that doesn't make the goodbye any easier. I don't think any parent wants to see their kid to go through surgery. And I think when you add the word neuro in front of the word surgery, that makes it even a little more scary. A few doors away, Fred's operation is off to a slow start. This is a big surgery for me as well. It takes a long time. Uh, it's one that's about 300 steps or so. Hi. This is Hi. Dina. Every hour, her mother, Nora, gets an update from the nurse. Here's the gallbladder. Maddie's operation is moving much faster. Dr. Glasson uses a laparoscope to take out her gallbladder without having to make a large incision. In less than two hours, Maddie is out of surgery and upstairs with her parents where she'll spend the night. Thomas's surgery is done with a large microscope. It really has kind of opened up the vision that we have uh, during operating. It gives Dr. Brahma a detailed look at the base of his spine as he teases apart the tissue pulling on Thomas's nerves. But just as Thomas's surgery wraps up, a complication. Okay. He's having a hard time coming out of the anesthesia. And pediatric anesthesia is, you know, just difficult beyond belief, and um, it is uh, it is an art and a science, and sometimes, unfortunately, it takes a little bit longer for, for patients to wake up. After an anxious hour, the Lewises are finally reunited with their groggy son. It's a good feeling to see him back in here. and looks like he's starting to wake up a little bit. 
Thomas's ordeal is over. Fred Cedras is not. Fred Cedras already been through seven orthopedic surgeries, but nothing as complicated or as lengthy as this one behind me. She has already been in the operating room for seven hours, and they're just wrapping up. An exhausted Dr. Schmitz walks out after almost eight hours in the OR. And Fred Cedra is moved into recovery. She'll be pretty sore today. She won't be very happy with me for a day or so. But the before and after x-rays of her spine show just how dramatic this surgery was. Two weeks later, back home in Noonan, Fred Cedra is sitting up straight. What is your name? Making it easier to use the voice computer she controls with the tilt of her head. She is still sore, but hoping to go back to school soon. What is this? An eight? So and nice. Thomas? I'm feeling much better. He's a little stiff too, but he says his pain is almost gone, and he can't wait to just get back to being a kid again. Well, I really want to go out and play with my friends and ride my bike. And some of the kids who go through Children's OR are so young that they're almost too young to understand what's going on. So Children's has child life specialists who guide these kids on their level through the surgery process so they know what to expect. And the staff also pays a lot of attention, as you probably noticed, to the parents. And that's because many of them are struggling, Russ and Amanda, with a lot of emotions when they go in there. Hold their breath for two, three, or four hours at a and time. And can you imagine eight hours that your child's in surgery? Yeah, those doctors and nurses, they, they just change people's lives. Lives, yeah, all you have to do is look at Fred's x-rays. Yeah. Amazing. The before and after. Wow. And to see the smiles. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Beth.